Hi, my name is Victor, and today I'm going to show you how to electroplate a coin and make it copper plated. So the items you need for this experiment are gloves, of course, which I'm going to wear now, coin, of course, and make sure that this coin is made out of nickel or other materials that can be copper plated. A 9 volt battery, distilled water, copper sulfate solution, which I already measured 40 milliliters of in a container copper, alligator clips, a few other containers, scissors, spoon, and some tape. So first of all, you, you're gonna have to, or you're gonna have want to measure 40 milliliters of copper sulfate into a container, which I already did. And then after that, you get a container and measure 360 milliliters of water into it. And make sure that the water is distilled, of course, or else it might not work. Okay, that's 360 milliliters of water. Then you're going to want to heat it up for 750 degrees for around a minute or two. Okay, so now after we have microwaved this water, distilled water, we, we need to get this copper plate and cut a piece of it. And make sure that the width is at least half of the length. But this depends on your com your container. So now I got my piece and I'm gonna connect it to the the red wire, the red alligator clip, and the coin to the black wire or the negative terminal. Okay, now I'm gonna put a copper sulfate into the warm water. And now you wanna connect the coin to the negative terminal of the battery and the copper sheet into the positive terminal of the battery and now you can place them into the solution and then you, you would want to wait for around 5 to 10 minutes as the coin gets electroplated. So make sure that the coin gets totally or goes inside the solution. Okay, so now you just want to wait and make sure they don't touch each other. Okay, so this works since, as you can see here, the red wire makes this copper, the anode side, and the cathode side is the black wire of the coin. And the electrolyte is copper sulfate. So you can think that copper sulfate is made out of copper ions and sulfate ions. And basically, when, we're, when this process is happening, the copper, through oxidation, will actually let off some copper ions. So then electrons that have emerged after the splitting of the copper ion and the electrons from the oxidation process will then come through the wire route and into the negative terminal or the coin and this is where they will meet the copper ions which will de get deposited onto the coin eventually copper sulfate will either get dissolved back into the copper sulfate solution to make sure that it maintains its amount of copper sulfate inside it or, or copper inside it or it will go into a coin and eventually it will be there and then the electrons will flow and the two plus copper ion will then become just plain old copper as the electrons will come back to it. So then eventually there will be a coating around the coin and then the reduction is when the copper ions basically get to the coins and these copper ions are two plus as stated before and then the electrons come back and meet them and then a coat is formed around it because the copper from the copper ion of plus two charge becomes just plain old copper and eventually the copper will actually degrade because it because copper is actually brought out of it via oxidation okay so now after waiting for around 10 minutes we can bring out the coin it's copper plated that's pretty much it thanks for watching and bye